tonight at 9 because of COVID-19. Memorial Day looked a lot different this year at Port Hudson National Cemetery. Fox 44's Kennedy Walker talked to relatives of fallen soldiers for their thoughts on this unprecedented situation. Shane Bill Yacht and his family are spending this Memorial Day visiting a loved one that passed away. It's a day of remembrance for, for everyone who gave their lives for this country. And, um, you know, a lot of lives were cut short. His sister-in-law died while on duty in Iraq. She was only 19. It's about, you know, remembering these, these people that, you know, we have a country because of these people. You know, because they fought and they, they gave their the ultimate sacrifice for, the, for this country. Every year they come to visit her grave, but this year is a lot different because of COVID-19. At Port Hudson National Cemetery in Zachary, people are walking around wearing masks and the annual celebration was canceled. Residents are calling this one of the toughest Memorial Days yet. This year is uh, especially hard because normally you have your support system with you and because of, you know, the virus and, and, and social distancing, um, People have been stuck at their houses, so they uh, they don't they haven't had the support system they normally have. Well, I'm disappointed because usually we we'll come out here, we see all the stuff, the uh, veteran people. They salute you. They have little snacks out here for you to drink, and they come to all the graves and they praise on the grave. Jason Munoz and his children came to visit his grandfather. He was a lieutenant in World War II. He says although things have changed, he's happy he was still able to come. I wish I would have known that there weren't going to be any flags. I, I would have brought one myself to put out. Uh, we probably still will go out and get one to come back to do that. Um, it is a little different, but I mean, it's it's still just about getting out here to pay your respect and coming to visit. Kennedy Walker, Fox 44 News.